So here we have a Wick Wicktress bikes using the same kind of battery as uh, Brickner's. And this customer was complaining that his battery wouldn't charge anymore. And I don't think you can see it, but it looks pretty dark in here, like it has been short circuited. And the same thing for uh, the charging port. It looks okay on the outside, but inside it looks like it's corroded or something. And when you put it in, it doesn't charge. So maybe it's a bad charging port. What do you think? Ta -da! Or could there be something else? What has happened to your poor little battery? I'm going to show you the other side. There is still like one deciliter of water in here. It's just <laughs> clear case of the water damage, eh? And this battery pack does not have any heat shrink tubing. And apparently the case does not protect that well against water. But here you can see there's a reminiscence of a water park in here oh poor little battery how are we gonna fix you how are we gonna fix you uh, i also usually replace this holder so i can use heat shrink tubing because there's no you can see me wobbling here and there is like no um no margin to add heat shrink tubing at all there's less than one millimeter and you will tear it if you try to add it so goodbye little battery so I noticed something when uh, disassembling this wick dress battery, which uses the same case as Brickner's and stuff like that. It's highly it's water damaged, but then I noticed these cells. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but they have been using a Dremel to remove old nickel. So these are most likely refurbished cells that we find in this battery pack. They have used cells from another battery pack, uh, rambled away the old nickel and put them into this battery pack. Pro they have probably never been used these cells, so it's not like they're using old cells. But we will actually check the date code of all the cells to make sure they are the same date code. Uh, but still, I think that is a good reason to try and use my new microscope. See if we can actually get a good picture. I'm so impressed with Louis Rossman and his co-microscope. And this is nothing like that, but it's still pretty good for a cheap Chinese microscope. Yeah, that's a piece of nickel. Here we can see how the bottom actually looks like under a microscope. And here we can see where they've used some kind of dremeling tool to remove the old nickel. And we will also check uh, the positive sides. Oh, this is a really cool microscope. Here you can see the pattern from the original one. And here you can see they have scraped off, most likely using some kind of dremel tool. And uh, close your eyes if you have children or if you don't like disgusting things. We will take a look at this water damage cell. Oh, it almost looks like a painting. Yuck. Way. <laughs> oh, cool to actually have a working microscope and I will try and record separately to an SD card next time that I can use in the videos.